How is it going everybody? Aces Ghost one here bringing you another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Counter-Strike Go server. This is very similar to the how to make a Counter-Strike Source server. You just need to do a little bit more changes. And I actually made it a lot easier for you guys this time. I provided you with absolutely everything you are going to need. This is from me to you. All right. This is me just trying to help out people like I did with the Counter-Strike Source server. And it's, it's just as easy. It, it really is. If you follow my instructions and you watch the, this video throughout, there's going to be a part two, possibly a part three. It all depends on how, how this plays out. But in this part, I'm just going to be teaching you how to build the server itself. So, basically, you want to go to developer.valvesoftware.com. Once you're on this website, you want to scroll down until you see Download Steam CMD for Windows. You click this, it's going to download Steam CMD in a zip, a zip folder or file. Uh, you're going to need WinRAR or 7-zip or anything, you know, like an archive extractor. And you're going to have steamcmd.exe. So now, I already did this for the sake of the video, so it's this video is not going to be too long. And I'm trying to figure out which... Okay, I screwed myself, didn't I? Alright, no I didn't. So you're gonna need Steam CFG or Steam CMD, and you're gonna want to be you're gonna want to create a, ser a file on your desktop. So I'm actually gonna completely redo this for you. So we're just gonna title it CS:GO Server 2. So with your new file on your desktop, you're gonna take Steam CMD, and you're gonna drag it in there. You're gonna open Steam CMD. It's going to update. And then you're going to type login anonymous. So I can't type. It's very early in the morning. I'm really tired. I figured I would get this video out because I've been putting this video off for a long, long time. So it's going to say connecting anonymously to Steam Public logged in. Okay, okay. Now for the important part. You want to type app underscore update 740 validate. And then you just want to run it. So this is going to download the CSGO server. So while this goes, I'm actually going to... We're just going to... Here, watch this, watch this, watch this. With editing magic. Boom. Okay. And we're back, and I completely closed everything, but... I replaced my old folder here with the new one. Um, so this is your finished download right here. Counter-Strike. And this is what it's going to look like when you first download it. Uh, after you download it, you just want to close Steam CMD, go to Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now you're going to have SRCDS and a bunch of other stuff here. Um, the Linux and stuff like that doesn't really matter to me. I'm not on Linux. It might matter to you. I don't know how to do this for Linux. I don't know if it's the same. I don't think it is. But basically, I provided you guys with everything you need. Okay. Because that's just how I do this. I have here, there's going to be more out of this, so I'm going to add an instructions thing. I'm going to, I'm going to do this all for you. It's just way too early for me to do this. So you're going to take all this. You're going to take the run Windows batch file, and you want to put this in the main folder, the Counter-Strike server folder, the main folder. Then you want to go to CSGO, CFG, server.cfg, copy it, paste it, or you can drag it in. I'm just copying it. It'll ask you to replace. Maybe it won't, actually. I'm going to replace. Now you want to head back to the main folder to your run, and you want to edit it. You can click Edit, or you can edit with Notepad++. I'm going to use Notepad++. And you can change this however you would like. This is the what I provided you guys. You can change the map. That's really the only thing that you can really change unless you want to add your own stuff. So you can be like tick rate 128. So now you have a 128 tick server, and you can change the map. So we're just going to do DE nuke. And that's that's really all. Now, what you have to do, before you ever run your server for Counter-Strike Go, before you run your server, you actually want to run... What is this? Before you run your server, you actually want to run Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, because if you try to start your server before you start Counter-Strike... Well, if you start your server... 
before you start Counter Strike Global Offensive, um, Counter Strike Global Offensive, the game will not actually run. It just won't start, which is really weird. But yeah, so you're gonna want to alt tab out of your game at the main menu. Go to your server, Steam apps, Common, Counter Strike, and you're just gonna run it. When you run it, these two uh, command th prompts are going to come up, and you just want to allow access to this. And there you go, Vax Secure Mode is activated. That's your signal that this is now activated. And you go to Play, Browse Community Servers, and it's going to show up in LAN. Now, you will not be able to see your server in online, nor will anybody else. But we will get to that in the next video. This here is just to show you how to get your server, start your server, and everything else. So we're going to load into the game here so I can show you a little bit more. Um, a little bit of console commands. Stuff like that. It's all very simple. So when you get into the game, you're going to load in. First thing you're going to notice is there's bots, alright? It's warm up, whatever. You don't want the bots regardless. If you don't want the bots at all, you're gonna alt tab out. You're gonna go back, you're gonna go to the Counter Strike Global Offensive command. Command prompt. You're gonna type bot quota zero. If we head back into the game, you're gonna notice the bots are gone. And now you can have a good time with your friends once we get the server port forwarded and ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, drop a subscribe, and tune in for part two where I will teach you how to have your friends connect to the server. Hope you enjoyed this. And stay sneaky beaky like. <laughs>